to another short and sweet where the reviews are short. And uh, maybe this bottle's sweet? I don't know. <laughs> this one's a little different than our normal short and sweets. It is, in a couple different ways. This one wasn't shared with us. We, we bought this. We did buy this. Normally short and sweets are shared. Technically it's short. It is short, <laughs> and it might be sweet. It might be sweet. The second thing is, this is the first time we've done a cocktail on a short and sweet. It's true. Yeah. So we were actually at a bar recently, and they had a $10 Knob Creek Old Fashioned listed on the menu, and I thought, oh, I'll give that a try. And the bartender walked over and started to pick up a bottle, and I was like, oh, it's pre-made. And he, he was went, like, oh, huh? Cl Clutch she, had, pearls. she had pearls on for some um, reason. And he was like, yeah. And I was like, you know, yeah. I'll just have a beer. I've never tried this before. I knew we had it at home because we've been meaning to review it. And I was like, I'm not about to pay for that, no offense. But then I thought, well, maybe what if it's good? I mean, I do like Knob Creek. I do like old fashions. Literally all you do is pour it over ice. Like, there is no mixing involved. It truly couldn't be any easier. Mm -hmm. So is it good though? Is what I want to know. Yeah, I, I want to know too, because you know, Sarah makes a mean old fashioned, um, but not everyone has the skills and power of Sarah. So we, you know, we want to know. It's really tell not you that hard. If, if this is a good way to go. Not everybody knows how to make a good one, even though I do find it very simple. It's like three ingredients. But this takes the guesswork out of it. We but have videos out there about it. <laughs> it's true. But if it's not good, then yeah. is it even worth it? I'll link I don't know. it. It's linked right there. It's linked. All right. To your health. Immediately, no. Woo. Tastes like medicine. Woo. <laughs> I like a lot of things that Jim Beam does. This ain't one of them. Well, here's the thing. I think a, mm -mm. a lot of people out there haven't ever had a good old fashioned, and they would think that this that tastes. This is what an old fashioned should taste like. So mm. if you're one of those people who you order, I don't know how to finish this sentence. I don't want to offend people. If you order your old fashions at a chain restaurant or or just a place that's not known for, for their cocktails, this might be what an old fashioned tastes like to you. It's very orangey, it's very sweet. I find it very medicinal, like I, I, the orange medicine. The spirit is lost. Agreed, you do it. not taste the spirit. I, I can't taste at all. the bourbon and it's a shame because it's Knob Creek in here. Right. So that's what I was meaning. Yeah. Did, did that come off okay? Um, I think a better way let us to know. explain it is there's like an, yeah. I think like an old style way of thinking about how to make an old fashioned and then there's okay, like yeah. the new age way. I don't want no new style, like more of a mixology centered way. Mm -hmm. And the old way, I think when people think about how people used to make old fashions, it was you take a piece of orange or an orange peel, you put it in a glass with a cherry, you put a cube of sugar in there and you sprinkle it with bitters and then you muddle all that fruit up and then you put the whiskey in. And that is a way that you can do it. Like that is a way that a lot of people still do it. I don't want fruit muddled in my drink unless I'm having like a berry smash or a julep or something like that. I like to infuse the simple syrup that goes into it and then just like let the spirit shine through mm, mm -hmm. and then use a little bit of bitters, like no muddled fruit. That's kind of the new way is like infusing the syrups. And I, again, I'm no mixologist. I didn't go to bartending school. So if you're out there like you're wrong, I just do what tastes good to me. Yeah. This for me is problematic because it's made with Knob Creek, bitters and natural flavors. What does that mean? <laughs> we go on the back and it natural. says it's made using a generous pour of Knob Creek whiskey, bourbon whiskey, which frankly I can't taste. Bitters, cane sugar, orange, cherry, and lemon zest. So those are the flavors. I would agree with that. For me, it doesn't taste like when you go to a bar and they use a Luxardo cherry, they take a fresh orange zest or a lemon yeah. and, you know, and express it. Like these are flavors. They're not even, I mean, natural flavors. What does that mean? Now, so, you know, it is made to be uh, an RTD, ready to drink, right? But you can help it by dropping in a Lux Luxardo cherry, taking a, an orange peel, doing the, you know, you know, thing. That's the technical <laughs> That's term. That's the technical term, the sound effects. And that will help it some, but you can't, you can't polish a turd. Sorry, but you can't. Well, all right, hold on. Uh, before we go any further, we should take take a little break and tell you about our home on the internet. It's whiskeyambitions.com. It's where you can get uh, the shirt that I'm wearing, the long sleeve that you're wearing, uh, the Glen Cairns that we normally uh, drink out of, uh, hats, hoodies, because it is getting colder, bottle cut candles, event tickets, and so much more at whiskeyambitions.com. And you can become a patron at patreon.com slash it's bourbon night and join our community for as little as one buck a month and get a little bit of a discount, depending on your tier on that merch that Chad was talking about. First crack at those event tickets, barrel picks, and more. I mean, I've had much worse. Yeah, that's the thing. We've had made at a, at a bourbon bar. We've had a much 
Okay, can I tell, I don't, I know this is supposed to be short and sweet, but real quick, I'm gonna tell a short and not sweet story. We were in Covington and walking back to our hotel and I saw a sandwich board outside of a bar that said like, city's best old fashioned. So I was like, okay, it's like an elf, world's best cup of coffee. Like I gotta know. So I go inside, we order it. I immediately knew I made a mistake because she pulls a shaker out and she puts three fat slices of oranges in the shaker. First of all, you don't need to shake an old fashioned. And second of all, when you're shaking that, you're just making orange pulp. So we're making orange juice basically. You're making a screwdriver. She puts a in packet it. of sugar in like what you would get with your coffee Sweet or milk. tea, basically, <sighs> and like shook it and then strained it, and it looked like bourbon and orange juice. If that's what you like to drink, more power to you. But I yeah. ordered an old fashioned, so yeah. not to be picky in today's day and age when you're paying 10, 12, 15, depending on the city you live in, twenty dollars for a cocktail. It better be good. And if mm -hmm. I can make it better at home, I'm gonna mm -hmm. be a little cranky about mm -hmm. it. <laughs> so I think the question becomes like, okay, if this isn't it, what's the fastest route from point A to point B or right. the easiest route? Like, yeah. I know a lot of people at home who are like, if it's more than three ingredients, I'm not gonna do it. When I'm having people over, I want less stress. Like, I wanna pour the whiskey, I wanna pour the syrup, sprinkle a little bit of bitters, stir it up, we're ready to go. And I want it to taste good. Bing, bang, boom. So I feel like we kind of need to do like an investigative series. Mm. How does one make the best old fashioned? We can yeah. even make that one girl actually going back to Jim Beam. Oh, what was her name? Janelle. Janelle. Janelle's old no, fashioned. Oh, Janelle. <laughs> she made it in a pint glass. Yeah. Like, poor Janelle. Where poor, is she now? Poor Janelle. Yeah. Um, so I would say not recommend on the Knob Creek old fashioned. Are RTD. you shocked and surprised? Uh, well, I don't know. It could have been a little diamond in the rough. Hey. but. This one, this one ain't it. This has been long and unsweet, but uh, that's where we better leave it. If you haven't subscribed to, our, to us already, you can do so by clicking right up here. There's suggestions of other videos down here. No hopes you were there, one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Until next time, <laughs> drink more cocktails. Mm -hmm.